I'm going to explain percent of change today, whether we're going to increase an amount or decrease an amount. And as always, you're going to copy and paste your question into your Google Slides assignment. So let's get started with the example. We're going to put a tape model um, of 10 boxes to represent our 100%. So whatever we have as 100%. And in this, this particular case, the question says the clean machine is Newberry's premier house cleaning service. The company used 7,500 gallons of soap last year. So that's going to be our 100%. And 72% more than that this year. How many gallons of soap did the company use this year? All right, so something else that we learned in our rule of 10% video is we learned how to find 10% and 1% of any number very quickly. And we got to start with knowing 100%. I know that 100% is 7,500 gallons. In order to find 10%, I shrink each of these numbers by one place value. So 10% is going to be 750 gallons. And to find 1%, we again just shrink each number by one place value. So 1% is 75. Okay, let's go along the process of finding 72% more because we're going to add that on to what they did last year. So I'm going to draw seven boxes for 70%. And I'm going to cut this up into 10% boxes. And I'm also going to fill them in. Each one of these boxes represents 10%, and 10% is 750 gallons of soap. Okay. As I go about doing this, I'm thinking to myself, all right, I've got to add up 750 or 7 times or multiply it by 7. I also know that I can kind of condense this into 20% to make it a little bit easier. 750 and 750 is 1,500. So each set, I should say each group of 20% is worth 1,500 gallons. So that might make it a little bit easier if I don't have a calculator to add these numbers up. All right, so we still have our 10% here because there's not another 10% to group with that. Now, I still have 2% that I have to create. And I know that I have 1% is 75. So 2% would be double that amount. So that would make 150. So I could add that on. 2% we would say is 150. All right, well, if I add all three of these up and then these two up, I know 750 plus 150, 800, 900. Um, if I add the thousands, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, two 500s make 4,000, so I've got 4,500 here. And then if I'm able to put these two numbers together correctly, I'm going to end up with, let's see, 5,000 plus another 400, uh, 5,400 more gallons used this year. All right, 5,400 is great, but it's not our answer. We want to know how many gallons of soap did the company use this year. So we have to take what they did last year and add it to what we used this year. Last year was 7,500. This year was 5,400. Add those two amounts together, and we're going to end up with 12,900 gallons of soap. First one done. 
So here's another question, and sometimes it's good to use our boxes to have a visual in front of us, but other times it might make it a little bit more difficult. Knowing what the 100% is in the word problem, that's the key. It says Lakeside Auto Repair originally paid its mechanics $25 per hour. Now that there's a new owner, the mechanics make $19 per hour. What was the percent of decrease in their pay? We, we've got to start off with what they used to make as 100%. So $25 is equal to 100% of their pay. And in order to get 10%, we're going to shrink this number by a place value. So we get 2.5, or with money, we have to write it as $2.50. And if we want to shrink it one more place value to get 1%, we end up with 0.25, which is 25 cents as far as money is concerned. Now, what I realize is that the decrease amount, if we take $25 and we subtract 19 from it, $6 is the decreased amount. And that's what we want to find. We need to find the percentage that goes along with this decreased amount. So I can start by building $6 out of 10% blocks. So a 10% block is going to give me $2.50. And I can keep going. Another 10% block is another $2.50. And now I realize that I'm up to 20% and 250 and 250 is going to give me $5. So I'm getting close to $6. But I can't use another $2.50 or another 10% block because that would put me over $6. That would be at $7.50. That wouldn't work. So now we've got to use 1%. And I draw them a little bit bigger so that we can see them. But each 1% is worth $0.25. Cents. Well, I'm a dollar away, so I need four of these. I need four quarters, and so I need four 1% boxes, and that gives me 4% there, which is another dollar. And so now putting this together, I realize I've got my $6 that was decreased from these workers, and my percentage that I have is 24%. So the decreased amount of $6, they lost 24% of what they were paid per hour.